Labry Medical Technology presents Vacuum Assisted Delivery at Caesarean Section, a demonstration using the Kiwi Omni C Cup. The Caesarean Section rate continues to climb in the United States, hitting an all time high of 32.31% in 2023. Although some feel this increase in caesarean sections protects many neonates from the various risks associated with difficult labors, this surgical procedure is not without its own set of risks and complications. These potential risks include maternal blood loss, infection, incidence of placenta accreta, increta, and percreta, and incidence of uterine rupture. Other complications may include traumatic or deliberate extension of the uterine incision, cervical lacerations, or excessive pressure on the fundus. To address these potential risks and complications, Lebury developed the Kiwi Omni C Cup, a vacuum-assisted delivery device designed specifically for the confined space of the lower uterine segment. The Omni C has a slimmer cup profile for easy insertion and maneuverability. It also has finger grooves for improved cup grip and a baffle filter for vacuum dispersion in the abdominal cavity. Use of the Omni C during a cesarean section delivery can have the following clinical benefits. Easy access to a high floating head during a repeat cesarean section, immediate assistance for failed second stage labor, reduced blood loss, smaller incisions, fewer hysterotomy extensions, reduced fundal pressure, and fewer cervical lacerations. In 2004, a clinical study examined vacuum-assisted delivery of the fetal head at caesarean section. In this study, the Kiwi vacuum device was used to assist in delivery of the fetal head in an effort to compare the safety and efficacy of a vacuum extraction versus a traditional manual extraction. The study showed that the use of a vacuum device at the time of caesarean section is a safe and effective method to affect delivery of the fetal head. It concluded that use of the vacuum device results in reduced maternal blood loss, fewer hysterotomy extensions, and fewer cervical lacerations. A recent study in 2023 was conducted on patients who underwent vacuum-assisted cesarean delivery using Kiwi OmniCup. In this study, no serious neonatal complications were noted. The vacuum-assisted C-section is not associated with an increased risk of serious neonatal or maternal outcomes such as hemorrhage or death. With the increase in the caesarean section rate, and with greater exposure of mothers to the associated risks of caesarean section procedures, use of the Kiwi Omni C can contribute to improved maternal outcomes. Consequently, proficiency in proper vacuum technique during caesarean section will be in greater demand. The uterine incision is extended laterally while the bladder blade and right angle retractor keep the surgical field clear and the amniotic fluid is allowed to drain. The surgeon then places his hand to verify fetal position and locates the flexion point 3 cm anterior to the posterior fontanelle along the sagittal suture. The Omni C is then placed on the flexion point taking care not to catch any maternal tissue or membranes under the cup, and then vacuum of 600 mercury is obtained by burying the green on the gauge. Gentle traction is then applied to the fetal head to evacuate it from the uterine cavity without the uncomfortable pressure applied to the fundus. After the infant is delivered, the infant's mouth is suctioned. The infant's cord is clamped and cut, and the infant is then passed off to the pediatrician. The cup is removed by pressing the vacuum release button. In this procedure, it is evident that the Kiwi Omni C cup was placed on the flexion point, three centimeter anterior to the posterior fontanelle along the sagittal suture. Placing the cup on the flexion point enables the smallest diameters of the fetal head to be delivered through the incision. A closer look at another application in which the Kiwi Omni Cup was used shows that the cup was placed slightly anterior to the flexion point. Ideally, the cup should be placed directly on the flexion point, which is located three centimeter forward of the posterior fontanelle along the sagittal suture.
The following are the suggestions for vacuum use at cesarean section. Best utilized when infants who are unengaged or floating, scheduled or repeat cesarean sections. Awareness of the fetal head position is of the most importance for correct cup position. Placed over the flexion point, 3 cm anterior to the posterior fontanelle along the sagittal suture. Use low-profiled maneuverable cup. Lower the table to lowest point or use a lift. The traction force should be minimized or gentle. Abandonment of a vacuum delivery should be considered if no descent or progress of the head occurs after two tractions, if delivery is not achieved or imminent after four tractions, or if the vacuum cup detaches or pops off twice. The size of incision should not be limited at the expense of safely delivering the fetus. Please also note of the following contraindications. All non-vertex presentations such as breech, face, brow, transverse lie, extreme prematurity, and known fetal coagulopathies or bone demineralization disorders.